the sixth agent is going to not only respond to our question from the large language model it has the data from your sharepoint and then we are grounding this data to a particular repository which is connected to your microsoft graph it's an enterprise site which holds a lot of data so we are doing a semantic index and that is being indexed and it is going to give you the response from that as well so it is quite fascinating um, that particular lab now we are going to push the limit of the knowledge base now we have seen an example about it is giving responses from the large language model we have seen an example where the agent can retrieve information from sharepoint or a document next let's look at how you can retrieve information from graph grounding or external data sources not the website but we are make going to make a semantic index and we are going to get a much richer data now for first before creating the agent first we need to go and actually create the graph grounding for the external source so go to your microsoft 365 admin center within the admin center on the left hand side um come under settings click on search and intelligence this is where you would be able to bring in external data sources to your microsoft 365 tenant under that there are quite a lot of things you can do like go under insights and things like that i will create a separate video on that but let's stick to the topic that is data sources this allows you to bring in external sources if you remember in the beginning i talked about uh, bringing in external connectors like service now jira confluence and uh, external data sources things like that so what we are going to do is we are going to create a graph grounding for an external data source and that we are going to use it for our agent to add a new external source all you have to do is click on add a connection when you add a connection you either you can search for a type of connection what you are trying to do but if you look at the type of connection it's quite extensive and microsoft is adding more and more uh connectors here so you don't have to do all the back end work to make it happen we basically work with the vendor to make it available so if you look at the options available you have service now knowledge many companies use that for knowledge base you have asana um you have salesforce knowledge you have jira from uh, alasian adobe experience manager um you can attach a file share if you do happen to have knowledge repository within your on prem you can connect that you have devops uh, and you have quite lot, you have if you want to connect to a database you can connect that you have quite a lot of different different connectors you have from google drive so so many scenarios and example you can think of um that you can make it as a connector so here what we are going to do is i'm going to connect to an external website so let's go to an exter- uh, enterprise website cloud click on that and scroll down towards the bottom and click on next so that opens this particular window which allows you to add external data sources there are many but we are sticking to the external knowledge sources to uh, index uh, in our graph so i'm going to name the website and uh, for this i'm going to go to my local garden supplier kings plant and this is the local garden supplier which i go to to either buy indoor plants or external uh, sorry external uh, outdoor plants or my garden fertilizer things like that so i'm going to copy their root website and what i want to do is i want to attach that into my graph so imagine if this particular customer want to create an agent for their users or their members i am one of their member so if i have uh, been provided with one of these agents so i can probably interact with this agent to ask about tips and tricks about um, any particular queries i may have i don't have to necessarily go to their website and look for the details all the time or if there is any offer maybe the agent can tell me and things like that there are so many possibilities here so i'm basically rather than going to the website and attaching as a knowledge source first i'm going to do is i'm going to um, index that in my tenant so i'm going to say that um, add when you add it, it it has an option to do you want to sync just this website or you do do you want to omit or ignore all the child site which is associated with it 
I don't want to omit it because it might have some good information about other stuff as well. So the next option is if you scroll down, there are multiple authentication option. Because this is a public website or a domain, I'm just going to select none. But if you have other repositories, uh, internal uh, knowledge share databases where you have much richer data, um, then if you provide the username and password, it can go and crawl that um, in indexes and keep that index uh, information within this tenant. So now the authentication is none. If you want to limit this to a certain type of users, you say that, hey, this is only limited to few users in my organization. So all the crawling information will be limited to that subset of users. If you don't want to limit it, if you want to make it available for the entire tenant, um, you can leave this uh, turned off. Uh, click on accept the notification to accept it. You can read more about on the right hand side on how the crawling works, what is the service account and how we can um, optionally use it. Um, if you click on this custom setup, it gives you additional options to control as well. So if you go to the users tab, um, herein you can provide the users about who can see the data source and content within this search page. Uh, in terms of the content, you have an ability to add more sites, site configuration. Um, you can come and configure the properties, uh, mainly the sync. Um, you can go and configure when do you want to crawl that information. Each time do you want to have a full crawl or a delta crawl. Um, this is quite important. So once you configure it, if you don't provide this custom setup um, after going into the custom setup to not crawl every day, otherwise it is going to on a specific time, it is going to crawl the information from that site for looking at new content. So you can probably change the schedule depending on how much you want to make it happen. So once you're happy with it, you can click on save and close and uh, start the um, process. So now what it is going to do is it is going to initiate the crawl. It is, uh, you will get a message that it is going to sync that information. All right, so now let's see if it is start syncing. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the search and intelligence and like go to your maybe SharePoint. Let's go to SharePoint because when you do this graph indexing, you can actually basically outside of Copilot, users can search for information. So if I come in here and start searching things like garden, garden supply or whatever, it should get from that index. You can see that there are a lot of information related to garden supplies, garden accessories, garden plants, garden decor. <laughs> so all of this, if you look at the feed where it is coming from, it is coming from uh, King's Plan Barn. It is coming from, yeah, it's all coming from King. So now I'm thinking of so many use case scenarios on different, different types of agent I can create for different examples. But let's stick to the topic. Now that this is working, let's go and create a new agent. So we're going to retain the pro. We're going to create a new agent and uh, let's copy the prompt. I'm going to copy the instruction from the garden pro so that we don't have to make it from scratch. So I'm going to go to garden pro, copy the whole instruction set. Let's see if this work and I'm going to paste that into this chat to create a new um, agent. I'm going to call it as garden pro plus. Now if I go to configure, we should have all the instruction we provided always first refer to the attached knowledge source, provide an answer in three sections, second bold, th third bold and all up until the game. So now we want to tweak it. First, the knowledge source. Let's come to the knowledge source and we are going to add two knowledge source because we want our existing knowledge source that is the SharePoint for the pro tips. Ah, I still can't find it here. So I don't worry. I have a copy of it. I copied the link for the SharePoint and I just added that SharePoint here. So now that you can see that it has been already added to this agent. The next thing what we are going to do is this is the exercise what we have done. We went into our graph connector and we created a new enterprise graph connector. So we are going to come in here. We're going to select the garden king plant. That is the index we have created. So I have turned this on. Now we have the knowledge source. Now let's go and further fine tune the instruction because 
the previous instruction was to refer only to the attached knowledge source. Now we need to add a bit more to include the graph data source as well. So I'm going to first tweak it to say that provide the answer in four section because now we have one more component. I don't think this is going to be the typical use case where you would be creating this agent, but the more more sophistication details I give you, you have more idea to use that logic in within your business to solve a particular problem with an agent. That's what I'm trying to do, not creating more and more sophistication. So I'm going to tell, hey, create, uh, provide the answer in four sections. First section, bold the heading for pro members and provide the answer from attached knowledge source. Second general tip, I'm going to make the game as four and I'm going to tell third as the graph. So I'm going to make a new instruction, the third bold heading title as latest from King's Plan Barn New Zealand. And I'm going to tell use the data from the source graph connector ensure the information is accurate and updated up to date i hope this works i don't know i'm trying as i go along and i change the game to the fourth one so i really hope this work we have a lot of sophistication in this if not doesn't matter we'll come back and fine tune it or find why it is not working first i'm going to change the icon to that tree picture beautiful tree picture Let's see if we can add one more. So uh, maybe we can add a couple of these startup prompts. So we have plant care tip, soil management, pest control, seasonal garden task, fertilizer tip. Ah, we can come and play around with the prompting later. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's go and create it. Click on go to agent. Now we have pro plus. Let's ask one of the question to see if we get... Okay, let's ask for fertilization tips. Okay, what are the best fertilization practices for healthy garden? Right, so we have four sections. One is pro members tip. We have general tip from the large language model. Then we have latest from King's Plan Barn New Zealand. That is quite good. Check out our latest garden tips from the product. Okay, they offer a wide range of fertilizers, blah, blah, blah. And play garden games. Okay, let's ask a sophisticated question so that it is it should try to pull something from the graph as well right so i'm going to ask what are the uh, what are the plants ideal for indoor scenario and give me some suggestions on available supply and its price so this is going to be quite funny so first it is going to llm and the uh, instruction given in the document is going to give me this answer what i am interested is is it going to pull information from the plan barn website to show me some of the, not show me, like at least tell me some of the indoor plant and how much it is going to cost and things like that. This is going to be interesting. Looks like I have a lot good answers. Okay, first pro member tip, it's tell that, hey, uh, you can grow indoor plant, peace lily, spider plant, Z plant, pothos, etc. And then we have general tips. The main thing is this one, the latest from King's Plant Barn New Zealand. Oh my God, this worked. And tells that, hey, these are the available stock they have. Um, and uh, for each of these plants, how much is the current cost? And now I have a reference as well. So I can click on this. It takes me directly to the page where I can actually get this plant. This is beautiful. And if I want to play game, I can play game. All right. So our pro also worked. Sorry, not pro. Our pro plus also worked. So I'm going to pin this. So now we have basic, basic plus game, pro with SharePoint, pro plus with graph grounding and SharePoint. All right, so we have learned three types of knowledge sources. The first one was basic grounding to the large language model. The second example we learned is how you can ground it in the SharePoint and get responses from the document you provide. The third one, what we have learned so far is the graph grounding. So you can attach a repository and you can let Microsoft 365 crawl through the data and create an index and it provides the data. One additional thing I forgot to mention was uh, it's the basic web grounding. Let's go ahead and create one more agent with that capability. But this time it is not looking into the large language model. It is looking into a website you are providing. 